hello everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video we will be cleaning and decorating our hearth room and kitchen nook and we are collaborating with yeti home and parrot uncle i selected two ceiling fans from parrot uncle and this is the robotic mopping station from yeti home there are two ceiling fans from Parrot Uncle, but I'm only going to share one because we didn't have a chance to hang the other one. So that one is going in our home office and I'll share that one in a totally separate video. But for now, let's go ahead and unbox this robotic mopping station from Yeedy. This is the Yeedy Mop Station Pro. It is designed for people who have heavy mopping needs. It does come with a dust bin, which was really smart because anytime you mop, you know we're going to have anything from hair to small particles on the floor. This mopping station has two mopping pads, which allows dual power spin mopping at 180 times per minute. This helps with making the stains easy to wipe off. This mopping station includes two 3.5 liter water tanks for storage of the clean water as well as storage for the dirty water in separate containers, avoiding cross contamination. I mean, it literally adds the clean water to the mopping vac and it removes the dirty water from the mopping vac. And it also dries the mopping pads to avoid older generation when the cleaning is complete. So nobody likes a sour mopping pad. All right, so let's go ahead and move this mopping station to the kitchen nook. I'll leave a link as well as any coupon codes I have to it in the description. And we're also going to share our new ceiling fan. We did not hang it on camera, but it was a breeze to put up. I'll share that with you as well later on in the video. But let's go ahead and start cleaning and decorating the kitchen nook as well as the hearth room. And I must admit, I had not cleaned these blinds in a while. I've done the other areas in the house, but for some reason, I had not did the kitchen nook. And I'm going to be using this little uh, paintbrush that I purchased from Home Depot. I normally use one of those uh, blind dusters, but today we're going to use it and I'll show you why. All right, so let's get up close and personal because I want you to see what I see. This area, these blinds have been neglected. So I'm just going to go ahead and get real, get in there real good. I'm going to use this little paintbrush and I'm creating a pile and then I'm going to vacuum it off. This is reality. I have nothing to hide. It is time to get some serious dusting over in this area. And from this point, I'll either maintain it or I'll pay someone to. But it was definitely time to get over here and get some really good thorough spring cleaning on these blinds. Always remember when you're doing your blinds, you want to first do your dry cleaning or dry dusting first. And then you can come behind with your cleaning solution. Because if you just wet it down, you're going to create somewhat of a mud effect. So dust and wipe all of your areas off first. And then you come back with your wet towel, sponge, or whatever cleaning solution you'd like to use. And 
and I'm really trying to get that streak free shine but the sun is out so it's drying the cleaning solution faster than with me putting it up so I'm going to go outside and do a little cleaning from the outside too but that's part of the issue that sun is hitting that cleaning solution really quick so I have to do it like early morning or later in the evening when the sun is down
Now, I love this sofa. When I tell you it is the most comfortable, least expensive purchase I've ever made. And I would love to have two of these. So I am on the lookout. If I can find this sofa again, I will probably buy two of them for this area. Uh, because we do like to lay on the sofa in this area. And this is like a microfiber fabric, really inexpensive. And actually, I could put it in the washing machine, but I just have not. I decided to just vacuum it and wipe it down with the towel. You'll see me do that a little later. Different planets Watch your aura pass me by Losing balance What if we run out of time And second chances Empty handed You like the fast life You like the drive Get down and dirt You act like the bad guy You want some love You like when you feel like Calling a midnight mm, You got the best of me
Right, so I'm going to add this pillow trim to two of these pillows and I picked this trim up a few months back and I've used it on black some black pillows that I had I decided to add it to these green pillows just to add a little more detail to them I also picked up some trim with tan and gold from Hobby Lobby that I was going to use on the brown pillows and I changed my mind actually I didn't change my mind I don't have the right needle on hand, so I decided not to use it. But this is a really inexpensive trim, and it's a great way to add some really good and nice detail to your drapes or even your pillows. So this is the finished look of the space. I went ahead and finished decorating off camera. And here is our new ceiling fan that my husband installed. It was really easy to install. And we originally were going to add a longer down rod to this ceiling fan and changed our mind. So it worked out great. And it does come with a remote control. So you can change the speed. Now, our kitchen area does have two switches, one for the ceiling fan and one for the light. But for this particular ceiling fan, all you need is one switch because the remote control will control the speed of the ceiling fan. So all we need is the remote control. We don't even need that extra switch. We may end up using it for some more lighting in the area. This is the 72 inch Bankston ceiling fan. It also comes in silver accents. And of course we chose the one with the gold accents. I absolutely love it, highly recommend it. And it's going to get a lot of use in our home. So once again, this is the final look of the space. I love how everything came together. And as you can see, a lot of these pieces I've had forever. It's just about styling your home in a different way to give it a different look. And here's the Yeti mopping station in its new home. And I had to leave for work and my husband did tell me it came on a few times and it will go back to the mopping station. I guess that's where it was releasing the water, the dirty water or the waste water and it will come back out. So as it was charging, it was removing the dirty water and then it'll come back out and mop the floor again. So I'm going to play with it a little bit more. I'm sure it's going to get a lot of use in our home. We also use our smartphone to turn it on and off, just like the one we already had, which was this Yeedy Smart Vac. Absolutely both, love both of them and they're going to get a lot of use in our home. So I'll leave links to everything I share with you all in the description for anyone who's interested. These two metal pieces, I get a lot of questions on some of the other social media sites because I'm new, kind of new over there. But if you know, you know, I've had these probably three years and I do have links to them. I've shared the links in the past, but I'll leave them in the description for anyone who's interested in these. But these are getting a lot of action again on my channel as well on the other social media platforms. So a lot of people do ask me about them. I'll leave the links to these as well in the description. right everyone we are coming to the end of this video thank you all for watching my videos thank you for subscribing to my channel if you haven't already subscribed and you like these types of videos please hit the subscribe button turn your notification on so you'll be notified when i post videos and also i'll leave the link to the Yeedy mopping station as well as this my new ceiling fan and the ceiling fan that I'll be using in my home office. I'll leave the link I'll leave the link in the description for those of you who are interested. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one.